Pittsburgh, the returning starting quarterback, Johnny Antonopoulos. And, Johnny, thanks for joining us here as we uh, preview WPI football. You enter your fourth year having started uh, games your first three years. And talk about the excitement of the, of, of the fourth year camp. Uh, it's definitely exciting. You know, I uh, can't believe four years have already gone by. I just remember, remember coming in as a freshman, just, uh, just wanting to play football. And uh, so it's gone by quick in these past four years. But we're very excited to start this year. You know, learning from the past three years, and uh, hopefully get get better this year. What's changed since you were here as a as a freshman to now here uh, at camp as a senior? Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same. You know, some some new coaches, some new uh, offensive schemes, but uh, it's pretty much consistent. Uh, football is football, and it's ready to go this year. A lot of talent at the quarterback a position. A talk about the other quarterbacks on the roster and, and what they bring to the uh, the team. We have uh, seven quarterbacks in camp this year, and uh, it's always a battle you know, each day for, uh, for for reps, and uh, it really pushes everyone to get better. There's uh, Jake Grills and uh, Rayshon Kennedy, along with uh, who's a sophomore, and John Clare, another sophomore. So. Good. And uh, talk about the receivers. Who's really stood out so far in the beginning? Uh, you know what? We, have a, we, had, we had a good group coming in from last year, uh, a lot of seniors coming in. There's that Ehab Hamden and um, Jay Conowich. Good. Uh, talk about behind every good quarterback and offensive line. I talk about your offensive line specifically. Uh, Captain A. Tim Grupp, who's been with you there all four years. All right, we have a few returning starters. Uh, one being Tim Grupp, and also Alex Verrilli. Uh, also Zach Arnold and a couple of new guys coming up. So uh, it's always good to have a solid offensive line to protect you. And move and you got some talent to hand the ball off to, and uh, Zach and and Chris. Uh, talk yeah, about that. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to hand the ball off, to Chris Turner and uh, Zach Grassless as well. Finally, uh, can you talk a little bit about your IQP and uh, and uh, and where it was and what you end up doing? Yeah, last uh, spring I worked with uh, one of my teammates, Ehab Hamden, along with two other students, uh, doing an IQP at the Worcester Project Center. We uh, we looked at the Worcester. Life science and, uh, industry kind of did a business analysis report of that, and that just looked at why it's why it's been growing so much. And a large part of that was due to the universities around here, such as WPI. What's the uh, in your three years so far? What's your favorite football moment? Uh, Which on the spot? One of the favorite, my favorite football moments was meeting RPI two years ago on this field for the transit trophy. And what's been your favorite non-football uh, thing that you've enjoyed about WPI? Uh, it, it has somewhat to, something to do with football, just being down in our fraternity house. Uh, it's basically like the football team. We're all on the field together. We uh, go to school together. We also live together. So that's definitely fun.